What's going on guys? Welcome to something a little different. So I got a lot of requests about where should certain Slayer tasks be done. So I went ahead, made a list of a bunch of controversial Slayer NPCs, and these are the ones that I think are the most insecure about where they should be done. Now all Slayer tasks can be done well, I should say most Slayer tasks can be done in different locations, and different locations are going to benefit people depending on what they're actually doing Slayer for. Depending on whether you're doing it for money, maybe experience, or maybe a little bit of a combination of both is really going to determine where you want to do your Slayer tasks. So this is going to be a three-part series, and this is part one, and in this first part, I will be covering eight different Slayer NPCs that you can be assigned from Chaldar, Duradel, or Neve, or Steve, and in this episode, I will be covering the Aberrant Spectres, Abyssal Demons, Ankus, Aviancies, Banshees, Black Demons, Black Dragons, and the Blood Veldes. Alright, so I am going to be going in alphabetical order, so our first stop for this video is going to be the Aberrant Spectres. Now the Aberrant Spectres can be done one of two ways, one for more experience in a specific skill, or one if you just want to get it done very quickly and get it out of the way. So the Aberrant Spectres can be done in two locations. Uh, the first location is going to be in the Stronghold Slayer Cave, which is located in the Gnome Stronghold. And this is where you're going to be wanting to do your Aberrant Spectre tasks if you are looking for very fast XP. Now the reason that you get very fast XP here is because you are able to set up a cannon in this cave. Now with the cannon, obviously your XP per hour rate will shoot way up because you're getting a lot of extra damage from those cannonballs getting all slung around. Now if you're not looking for a super ton of XP and you're okay with just kind of hanging around and a little bit of AFK here and there as the aggro resets, you're going to want to do your Aberrant Spectres task in the Slayer Tower. Now the Aberrant Spectres are located on the second floor or first floor if you are in the UK and up here is a kind of chill place to do your Aberrant Spectre task because Generally, it's not too crowded, and you will have the opportunity to AFK as they are aggressive. So these are the two best places that you're going to want to do your Aberrant Spectre tasks. Now there is a kicker here. There is another form of Aberrant Spectre, which many of you that are new to Slayer or new to the game might not know about, and these are the Deviant Spectres. Deviant Spectres are a stronger variant of the Aberrant Spectres and can be found in the Catacombs of Karend. The Deviant Spectres are very strong. They are a lot stronger than their Aberrant Spectre counterpart. They have a lot more HP and a lot more defense. And I honestly would not suggest that you do these ever because their loot isn't that great. They have a high defense level, a lot of HP, and they can take a long time to kill. Now the only reason that I would suggest that you actually do the Deviant Spectres is if you are really trying to AFK. You can go in there and all of them will be aggressive to you. There is five spawns in one location and you can sit there for a good 15 to 20 minutes only drinking prayer potions to keep your prayer up. Now, if you want that AFK experience, you are definitely going to want to kill the Deviant Spectres. And another reason that you might want to kill these is if you're hunting Dark Totems. Dark Totems are dropped by most NPCs in the Karen Catacombs. And if you are searching for those Dark Totems to try to get a Scotizo pet or the Dark Claw for your Purple Slayer helmet, then I do suggest that you come kill the Deviant Spectres in the Karen Catacombs. Moving on, the next NPC that we are going to cover is going to be the Abyssal Demons. Now the Abyssal Demons can be found in two locations throughout RuneScape, the first being in the Mauritania Slayer Tower and the second being in the Catacombs of Karen. Now the first one I am going to cover is the Mauritania Slayer Tower. The Mauritania Slayer Tower actually has two locations for Abyssal Demons. Uh, one location is going to be at the very top floor, which is the third floor or second floor UK, and the other location is going to be in the basement. Now if you are not looking to get very fast XP with the Abyssal Demons, you are going to want to kill them in the Slayer Tower, preferably in the basement, because in the basement you have to be on a Slayer task to kill the Abyssal Demons. No one that is not on a Slayer task can come down there and interrupt you, and generally it is a little bit less populated. 
Now if you are looking for faster XP and you want to mage the Abyssal Demons, you want to go to the Catacombs of Karen. In the Catacombs of Karen, it is a multi-combat zone. You can aggro a lot of the Abyssal Demons and you can burst or barrage them for very good magic XP per hour. And again, another reason that you would want to kill them in the Catacombs is because they do drop those Dark Totems, which will give you a chance at Scotizo Pet or the Dark Claw for the Purple Slayer Helmet. So, Mauritania Slayer Tower if you're not too worried about very fast XP or very fast Slayer tasks, and you want to kill them in the Catacombs if you do want those fast task completions, totems, and a lot of XP in a short amount of time. Next up on my list is going to be the Anku. Now the Anku are not actually a monster that is associated as a slayer monster but they can be assigned as a task now there are a few locations that you can kill the anku one being in the security stronghold which is located in the barbarian village one in the wilderness in one of the cemeteries and the other is again going to be in the catacombs of karen now the best place to kill the anku is going to be in the catacombs of karen because it is a multi-combat zone and it is very afkable you don't have to pay much attention down here. They are a bit stronger and you will need to use the protect from melee prayer. But in terms of experience per hour and drops, your best chances of getting at least a little bit money back for your task is going to be in the catacombs of Karen. If you are not looking to kill them in a multi-combat zone, your next best option is going to be in the stronghold of security on the very bottom floor. This is a single way combat zone so you won't have to deal with more than one at a time. In the last location in the wilderness, probably going to want to stay away from that unless you're on a wilderness specific task because let's face it, I'd rather slay in my best possible gear and I do not want to be giving that away to any PKers for free. The next NPC I'm going to cover is going to be the Aviancies. The Aviancies are located in two locations, one in the Wilderness God Wars dungeon and the other in the God Wars dungeon located just north of Trollheim. Now this content is locked behind an unlock through a Slayer Master. You will have to pay some Slayer points to be assigned Aviancies as a task, but if you have the Fremenic Hard Diaries done, it is well worth it because Aviancies will drop noted adamant bars and they stack up over time very nicely. Now the location that you're going to want to kill the Aviancies within the Armadil Chamber is going to be just about right in the middle of the southern wall. There are level 70 and 80 Aviancies floating around here and they are very easy to kill, very quick kills. All Aviancies regardless of level have the same chances of dropping the noted Adamant Bars so you can get your tasks done quickly with a lot of XP very quickly and still have the same chances to receive those Adamant Bars. Next NPC on my list is going to be Banshees. Now a lot of people don't know this or they haven't taken the time to figure it out or maybe they have just forgotten that there are Banshees located in the Catacombs of Karen and because they are in the Catacombs they are much stronger than their normal counterparts located in the Slayer Tower. The Twisted Banshees located in the Catacombs of Karen are level 89 and their drop table is vastly better than their normal counterparts. They drop three herbs each time they drop herbs, they drop battle staves, air battle staffs, some chaos runes here and there, and I kill these very regularly on my Slayer alt, and I always make between 3 and 500k per task, depending on how nice they want to be to me. Now the reason that you want to do them here is because you will get more experience from them as they are higher level, they have more HP, their defense level is pretty low, so it will be a quick task regardless of how many that you are assigned, and you will also want to keep in mind that they also do drop totem pieces, and the reason that I say you should kill them here is because then you won't have to waste Slayer points canceling a crappy task that will take you a little while to complete with not much gain. If you kill the Twisted Banshees in the Catacombs, you do have that chance to make some money and get a little bit better XP without wasting any Slayer points to cancel your task. Next NPC up is going to be the Black Demons. Now the Black Demons can actually be killed in a few different locations depending on what you're looking for. There are three different locations that I'm going to cover, and each has their own unique perks. The first location I'm going to cover is going to be in the Catacombs of Karen. In the Catacombs of Karen, obviously you can once again get Dark Totem pieces, and this location is a multi-combat zone, and it's very easy to AFK here. Now they are aggressive, and they will stay aggressive for between 10 and 15 minutes. Once their aggressive nature is lost, you can simply just run out of their aggressive radius, run back, and you are back to AFKing. 
Next location is going to be if you're looking for a little bit faster XP. If you're looking for faster XP, you're going to want to head over to the Taverly Dungeon and kill the Black Demons there. Now the Black Demons here can be cannoned, so the XP per hour drastically increases with the help of that cannon. And the last location is going to be the Demonic Gorillas north of the Grand Tree in the Gnome Stronghold. Now you will have to have Dragon Slayer 2 done to kill the Demonic Gorillas, but this is a very, very good money task if you are slaying for money and not worried about that fast XP. The Demonic Gorillas do have the 1 in 300 chance of dropping that Zenite Shard, which can sell for anywhere between 9 and 11 mil, depending on what the prices are at the time. So if you're looking for XP and AFK, you're going to want to go to the Catacombs of Karend. If you're looking for a quick task, you will go to the Taverly Dungeon with your cannon. And if you are looking for a lot of money, you will want to kill the Demonic Gorillas in place of the Black Demons in the dungeon north of the Grand Tree in the Gnome Stronghold. And the next NPC I'm going to cover is going to be the Black Dragons. Now the Black Dragons can actually be killed in quite a few different ways for quite a few different reasons. And the first one I'm going to start off with is the King Black Dragon. Now the King Black Dragon can be killed on a Black Dragon task and it is a very easy boss to kill. If you haven't started bossing yet and you're looking to learn, I suggest learning at the King Black Dragon so you can see some simple mechanics that have to do with RuneScape bosses. Now the King Black Dragon does drop two Black Dragon Hides and Dragon Bones every kill, so some money can be made there along with some random drops. A lot of the drops aren't that good, but you will have the chance of getting that Prince Black Dragon pet or the KBD heads so you can get that cool Black Slayer helmet. Next location I'm going to talk about is the Taverly Dungeon. Now there are two variants of Black Dragons in the Taverly Dungeon and they are on the upper level. And the good thing about the upper level is that they can only be killed on a Slayer task so it will relatively be unpopulated. If a world is full you can just hop around and in no time you will find yourself a world where nobody is. Now, the fully grown black dragons are up here, but I don't suggest killing those if you have the stats because it will be a waste of your time. If you don't have very high stats and you are assigned a black dragon task, I suggest you kill the baby black dragons that are also located on the upper level. It will be a quick task and you won't have to waste your precious slayer points on canceling a task that you can do in an easier way in another location. The last type of black dragon I will talk about is going to be the brutal black dragons which are located in the northwest corner of the catacombs of Karen. Now as most people know you will need a slayer level of 77 to kill these but these things are stupid money. If you have the stats which I recommend at least level 90 plus range with a blowpipe so you don't use a ton of scales and darts or level 80 or higher with a dragon hunter crossbow you should come here kill these they are decent xp per kill and they drop a lot of great items that will stack up over time so as a small recap if you're looking to learn to boss you want the pet or the black slayer helmet you're going to want to go kill the king black dragon located in the wilderness if you are of a lower combat level you are going to want to go to the upper level in the taverly dungeon and kill the baby black dragons and if you have decent range stats or a dragon hunter crossbow you're going to want to head to the catacombs of karens to make some bank loot possibly get some totem pieces and some shards. And the last NPC that I'm going to be covering for part one of this little series is going to be the Blood Veils. Now a lot of people tend to cancel Blood Veils or they just don't feel like doing them, but I think that you should. Now there are two different variants, the normal Blood Veils, which are located in the Stronghold Slayer Cave, and in the Mortania Slayer Tower and the Mutated Blood Veils, which are located in the Catacombs of Karen. If you are looking for a fast task, you are going to want to head to the Stronghold Slayer Cave, set up your cannon, and cannon away at some Blood Veils. If you can't afford a cannon and you're just looking to melee, you're most likely going to want to go to either the basement or the second floor, first floor UK, of the Mortania Slayer Tower. Now if you're looking for a lot of XP and a decent amount of blood runes, you're going to want to head over to the Catacombs of Karen. In the Catacombs of Karen, the Blood Veils can be found in two locations, which are marked on the screen now. And these have very high HP, but very low defense. Their defense level is only 10, so they can be killed by pretty much any level, probably above level 70 combat, for a decent amount of experience per hour. I do all of my Slayer tasks for Blood Veils in the Catacombs of Karen because the experience is so good and 
Generally, if you have the task extended, you will see anywhere between 600 and 1000 blood runes per task, which will help compensate on the prayer potions you need. You will need to pray melee against the mutated blood belts because they are considerably strong, even though they have a low defense level and a high HP level. But that is going to do it guys, that is going to wrap up part 1 of this little mini series on where you should do your slayer tasks, whether you're doing your slayer tasks for a lot of money or a lot of quick XP to bang out a quick 99. I hope that you have found this video helpful. I will be back with two more parts in this series to cover some more controversial slayer monsters which you can see on my channel. Make sure you turn those notifications on so you know when I upload a new video. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the description down below and I will try to get to every single one that I can. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up down below also and I will see you guys on the next episode of whatever I'm coming out with. If you haven't tapped that subscribe button on your way out, please do so. It will mean a ton to me. Until next time guys, take it easy.